Okay, today I'm going to show you a little trick if you don't have a DI for your guitar and you want to use a virtual amp package on your computer. I'm just going to plug this guitar straight into the line input on my interface. So we got a very weak signal there. It's not great, is it? It's that's and the highest gain setting is that. So we're picking about ten, uh, minus ten. That's with the humbucker pickup. But you also you notice that the tone is really rolled off. You got there's losing all the highs and there's no definition to it. It's just it's very muddy. So if you want to use that for a a virtual amp package on the computer uh, it tends to sound a bit muddy it's a, because the signal is so weak and it's missing all the highs you don't get a great sound so here's the trick all you need to do is get some kind of effect pedal that you've got it has to have a buffered bypass that's the only condition so these boss pedals are great I've also got here a Vox saturator that works really well but the true bypass ones of course won't work in this application. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this parametric EQ in that I've had sitting around for years. You just could leave it in the off position uh, because in the bypass position it's just, it simply acts as a buffered input, buffered output. So here it is, it's plugged into the line input. Let's have a listen to the sound now. Now there's no gain in this, in fact most people reckon that these boss pedals have a little bit of loss through them. If you plug your guitar into it and then into an amp, you can normally hear some kind of loss. But as you can hear, we've got a huge amount of level back here. And also the tone. The tone is back. And that's the main thing. When you're using a virtual amp package on the computer, you want to make sure that your DI sound is as good as possible. So we've got our amp, and uh, let's see. I can just about clip it with the humbucker. So we've got plenty of input gain there. I may have to turn it down. But I'll change it to a single coil mode there. Okay, so that's using the Boss one. I'll show you what it sounds like as well with this Vox one here. I'll just change over. There you go, that shows it's a... It's actually, the, it's actually got a battery in it, of course, but we're not going to be using the sound. We're just going to be using it in bypass mode. So once again... And with a humbucker. Neck pickup. And just to remind you of... With a, that sounds just plugging straight into the line input. We'll just change over here. Quickly change it back. So, it is louder because the impedance is matched more correctly for the guitar. That's the only reason. There's no gain, per se, in using this pedal in bypass mode. You don't get any gain out of it. But it simply gives you a better impedance to plug your guitar in. And one thing that I've noticed, and the reason I'm showing you this tip, is that I reckon some of these pedals can give you a fantastic DI sound, and it'll certainly give the instrument input on your interface a run for its money. So there's the tip. Alrighty.